Hey guys, what's up? RC Addict Make You Local here once again, and today we're going to do another test on the Cheerson CX-10A. There's a lot of discrepancies on the internet as far as uh, how long it takes to actually charge this thing, the charging time of the quad. Uh, manufacturer says 30 minutes, some guys on YouTube say 10, some say 5. So we're going to kind of uh, debunk that myth right now by doing a real world test. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to fly it okay around and until it gets a low voltage mode and it's flashing and it actually drops out of the sky at that point it's unusable let's go charge it the second test we're going to be doing is this right here sitting here it's already in low voltage mode we're just gonna turn the juice on and walk away and eventually this thing will actually turn it off like it just did all by itself uh, because it's protecting the lipo inside there. Lipos cannot be discharged too much or charged too much. They're kind of temperamental like that. So it's protecting the lipo in there. So we're going to do both tests and then we're going to see exactly how long it takes. I'm going to start my stopwatch and see how long it takes to charge these. And the way I'm going to be charging them is with a wall adapter. Any kind of wall adapter is going to have a higher wattage output than a, a, the front of the computer, a USB port in the computer. So we're going to use that for the fastest charging time. And we're really going to see exactly how long it takes uh, to get this thing fully charged up and back in the air. Okay, so the results are in, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, the results are about halfway in between what the YouTubers say and the manufacturer. These were all done, all these tests were done with a wall USB adapter that provides the higher wattage output compared to a computer USB port. So that's the best one you want to use for the fastest charging time. So with this thing running until it actually totally quit on me and fell out of the sky, low voltage mode, flying, 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 just fell out of the sky. It took about 13 minutes and 15 seconds to charge. Now the way I had it on the bench on the other part of this video, where I just had the blades going until the processor inside here turned them off to save the lipo, and it was completely dead, the most dead you can get it by doing that process. It took 14 minutes and 24 seconds to charge this. So overall, not too bad for five to eight minutes of runtime, about you know, 13, 15 minutes, somewhere in there uh, for charge time, so not so bad.